everybody. This is Diane with Crafting with Fury. I am here with my second project share for Queen A Craft. Whoops, sorry. And I will leave the link to everything and all these beautiful dies down below. And don't forget, if you use my coupon code, which is Diane, you'll save 10% on your next purchase and I would truly appreciate it so let's get started okay and like I said in my last video I'm trying to get more comfortable making cards so that's kind of what I've done now this first card let me put these over here I used this die and this is called the pumpkin die it's a big size it's a nice looking die let me get it out here. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? So this is the pumpkin die. And the paper that I used was my Graphic 45. And it's the Midnight Tales. I love this paper. I love the colors. Love it, love it, love it. And this is my card that I come up with. I cut the pumpkin out in orange glitter paper and then I backed it just to have you know the contrast the green for the leaves and then the green going through the pumpkins with some green full paper I cut this out of the paper pack and it says trick-or-treat and look at my cat is it not beautiful I diamond dusted it and then I put some glossy accents on um, his little eyes and it's a five by five card and I love the way that turned out look at that paper and this pumpkin just perfect with this card with that paper and I did kind of pop it up just a little bit to give it a little dimension so this is the pumpkin die and if you'll remember, I got this cute little bee die, and I got these bee stamps, and then I got this honeycomb. It's called a beehive backdrop die, and I, you know, I thought, oh, that would be so pretty. You could use that for a bunch of different style cards, and I thought, okay, I'm in the Halloween mood. Guys, I'm getting, you know, I said, okay, how am I going to make this little bee into a Halloween card? This is what I come up with. I cut him in silver foil paper, gave him some red bling eyes and kind of inked him up a little bit. I cut out the honeycomb in black glitter. I put like a darker orange glitter on the back and I got these little ghost sequins and they have those. Queen A Craft has a bunch of just cool different sequins that you can get in their store. And this spooky is actually a Queen A Craft die too. I have used this a lot, a lot. I love it. It's the perfect, perfect size. So this is the card that I come up with with the bees. So these are spooky bees, or you could say bee spooky. Isn't that cute? I just love the way that turned out. So see, you can take any die and you could just make it into anything. And that's what I love about dies and just let your creativity go crazy. But I think it turned out super cute. I'm excited. I'm happy with the, how that turned out. And this die is the trick or treat die. Super stinking cute. And this, look how cute that is. Look how pretty and big old die that is. It says trick or treat. It's got a witch's boot. It's got a jack-o'-lantern. It's got a spider, a spider web. It has a crow and it's got a bat here. Isn't that adorable? So I thought, okay. I almost made a tag out of it, but then I thought, no. I'm going to do all cards this time. I'm going to get more, try to get myself more comfortable 
with making cards because yeah i'm not a card maker but i'm i'm getting there i'm trying to get there so <laughs> this is the card that i come up with i did white glitter in the back paper and i put like some black and purple ink just kind of put it around it i did do some orange ink behind the pumpkin to 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 make it pop I cut the die first out in black glitter paper. Then I cut it out in purple foam to kind of give it dimension. And then what I did was I kind of just staggered it just a little bit to make it look like it has got a shadow, a purple shadow behind it. And then I used their cross and bones sequence and their ghost sequence. And then I had found some orange bling in my stash and um, I love the way the white is in the back and then it's just got all these different colors going on. So, and there's, look at this little crow. I just love it. And I love the way the purple just kind of peeks behind the black glitter. It just gives it a little pop. So, this is the trick or treat die. And guys, I think that's all of my project shares for be there you go okay this is my project shares for queen a craft i'm super happy with the way they turned out i'm trying my best to get my cards a uh, get my card groove going on so thank you guys so very much for stopping by and i would like to thank queen a craft for the opportunity to be on their design team i'm really having a ball it's pushing my boundaries and you know, sometimes we need that. We need to get out of our comfort zone. So thank you so very much for stopping by. Truly appreciate it. May God bless each and every one of you. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.